Hey everybody, and welcome back to your daily dose of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Nai. Ooh. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 9.52 a.m. this happy Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Now then, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today we've completed construction of the Resident Services building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Oh yes? Come on over. Oh hey! Apparently Isabel's done killing demons! Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the Resident Services staff here in Isle Deckney. While I still have much to learn, I'll do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here. I liked Isabel in New Leaf. Haven't used her much in Smash. I've got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Normally the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location, but keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone. Yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all my announcements for today, except for one final thing. This was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for Island News. Oh, cool. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes, there you have it. New building, new island staff. We're growing, growing, growing. Finding out what's new at Resident Services is as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new Resident Services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be there to support you whenever you need us. Neat. And we have Mabel here today, too. We got we got stuff going on. So I have a bit of an agenda today, but uh, I think we got to go figure out resident services first. That's that's important. We got to go figure out what's going on in there. Ooh, I am sore. Okay. Ooh. That music's new. I like it. Uh, I was able to collect some new stuff that I have not seen so far. Um, so let me go get those out of storage. Let's see. So we have the bagworm, the cherry salmon, the golden trout, the anchovy, and we already had the football fish. Uh... Did I also have... I forget. Did I have any... No. We're starting up with a bunch of stuff. I'm going to actually start spending some of these resources, and we're going to start crafting some stuff. Mostly just so I have it, but I'm also going to see what our hot item is for the day. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we actually had an island... Or a uh, town chime just now. You'll also notice that I have a buttload of money. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, farming. You're going to see it when we get to the... Get to the uh, the shop. Spend a lot of time farming, not only so we can pay off our house, but also trying to get some of these uh, fish. Nook Inc. Update from Resident Services. To celebrate the opening of the new Resident Services building, we have lots of new Miles Redemption items available. Plus, we now have a new service for Nook Miles. Members to earn five times more miles. A commemorative gift is attached. Ooh. Ooh. Spoil me. Oh, it's a Nook Miles ticket. Cool. Uh, I, so, a couple things, uh, I did, I do have some items here that I did get while I was, um, while I was farming on my own. This includes the, uh, the parka that I'm wearing now, the hoodie. So that's new. I also cut this tree down, and I'm leaving this fruit out for a reason. Same with this can. It's actually being left out on purpose. Um, there are some, uh, bugs that will only show up on actual stumps, so I'm actually gonna leave this as it is. And then there is another bug type that's only gonna show up on trash, so I'm leaving that there as well. And bugs that will only show up on rotten food, so I'm gonna leave those oranges there. So all that's being left on purpose. Uh, I also spread out these flowers, because we're gonna see if we can get some, uh, flower crosses. Uh, so that way I can actually get the, uh, peacock, um, uh butterfly before it vanishes for good uh, because we are you know it's, it's the 28th it's March 28th uh, we're only a couple of days from April and when April rolls around a lot of fish and uh, bugs are no longer going to be uh, it's no longer going to be possible to oop. 
literally what we were waiting for. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. That is literally the bug that uh, I cut that tree down for. I'm probably going to leave that stump there, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, a lot of bugs are going to vanish into the ether. Uh, they will no longer be available. Let's see how we're doing on Nook Miles. So now we have five times Nook Miles. So sell an item for a uh, pot on for a fortune. So that's kind of neat that we have that. Um, okay, let's see. Clam collected. So I, I've done tons of clams recently. Very genius. Okay. Uh, but yeah, lots of clams. Trash fishing. Uh, we have collected a bunch of trash. Uh, I actually need more because you can use some of the trash to make um, uh, a uh, carpet and a wallpaper. Uh, so we'll need more. I actually got rid of a bunch of it, and I wish I didn't. Waterway cleaner. So that's actually complete. Cast master. Um, bunch of fish in a row. I've done a bunch, a bunch. I'm actually, I was only two off, and I don't know how close I am now. Bait snatching frenzy. What else? Anything Anything else amazing? Ooh, Isle Deck Icons. In recent services, we want new ideas for the island flag and island tune. We have Nook Miles in store for those creative types who can redesign and rewrite. It's good to take pride in our island symbols. I actually know exactly what we're changing our flag to. Uh, I'll probably do that uh, after today's episode, and then uh, you guys will see it next time. I'll also do gathering of all of this fruit kind of on my own time. I'm not going to subject you guys to that, because we have a bunch of other stuff to do today. Okay, let's go talk to Blathers. Let's donate a bunch, and then we're going to go sell a bunch, and then we will go, once I have an actual in inventory available to me, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go look at item services. Got the different music and everything. Oh, it's so good. We're finally there. So we're going to donate so there's Longhorn Beetle, a Bagworm, Anchovy, Golden Trout, Cherry Salmon. We have a bunch of donations. And that was it for now. No new, uh... No new Nook Miles. That's a shame. Okay. Just kind of keeping an eye out in case I happen to see. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pop over in this direction just real quick-like. Um, before we go over to... Nook's Cranny. Changing of the hour should mean a new song. So, apparently, the peacock uh, butterfly, which is the only butterfly that we're missing, uh, is only going to show up on... Yep, new song. Um, it only shows up on crossbreed plants. So, uh, or not as much crossbreed as, like, color combination plants. So, for example, these roses that are, uh, yellow or, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Ah, damn it, ran away. We have a, there's a pink rose somewhere over here. Um, red's the normal color. So, I was kind of expecting us to actually, like, get... The, uh... Words. I have them. I was kind of expecting us to actually see this butterfly, because I do have these other colored roses up here. But I guess they just flat don't count. So I might go uh, use that Nook Miles ticket, because a lot of the uh, Nook Miles islands actually have, like, rare flowers, apparently, um, that you wouldn't normally see. So what I might actually end up doing is, uh, yeah, I got space. I might actually end up going into one of those and then just taking home a bunch of flowers. We'll see. It actually kind of depends on what's available at, uh, that island. Different islands have different things that you can do. There are still 11, uh, different fish or um, bugs that we still have to get before the month turns. So I'm still going to be fairly busy. Okay, I got no space. We'll have to remember that bottle is over there. Okay, you guys ready to see exactly how full my my shop is? 
We're probably going to be talking shop for the majority of this. I do have some things I want to talk about, but man, look <laughs> look how busy it is out here. Oh, it's ridiculous. Wooden block bookshelf. I can do that. Yeah, I, I did a lot of fishing. A lot of fishing. Trying to get uh, a couple of these very specific fish. Man, there's... I'm not excited about any of this stuff in here, but okay. Let's go ahead and sell. Uh, clams. I do not need any of these. Lots of L's. And let's... Oh. Okay. Time to go pick a bunch of stuff and keep selling. I gotta clear the doorway. This crap's a fire hazard. So yeah, there's a there's a bunch of fish that I'm actually on the lookout for, and the problem is they apparently are just kind of rare. So we're still looking for the string fish, the nipple fish, uh, the tuna or fish, barrel eye, and coelacanth. Um, I'm actually kind of worried about the uh, coelacanth because it's only available on rainy days, and uh, we have yet to get one. Like all of our days have been either good weather or, or windy. We've actually had like five windy days of the past seven days. Uh, so, I don't know, you know, what we're supposed to do about that. All of these we already have. It's amazing that I sold all of that and made only 7,000 bells. You know, I actually, uh, I was looking up uh, Animal Crossing stuff. Mostly I was looking up to figure out, like, what I was doing wrong for uh, the uh, Peacock Butterfly. And uh, I found out that PETA has made a statement regarding um, Animal Crossing. Things that you should and should not do ethically in Animal Crossing. Apparently, in this video game, ethically, you should not fish. And you should not catch bugs. It's not ethical, apparently, to in a, in a video game. Digital representations of things. You shouldn't do it. Uh, also, so th that was one thing, and you know what? I I've, I've seen PETA take this stance on stuff before. Uh, apparently, Mario is a terrible person for the raccoon suit, among other things. So, look, I'm, I I've seen it before, sure. But what really amazed me is that they bring up Tom Nook. And let's face it, if you really think about the game, if you actually kind of go and look at the uh, look at the game with a you know critical eye... And, uh, you know, turn the business eye on, right? And look at the game and go, man, I'm thinking about my interactions with Tom Nook and how he, you know, he does business. Tom Nook takes advantage of us. Like, you know, hey, here's this awesome island getaway. I'm going to give you a tent. Oh, but you're going to have to pay that off right now. Uh, oh, here, let me convince you to upgrade your house. Okay, now you're in debt to me again. Uh, we need to upgrade this island. I'm just going to get you to do it while, again... Get, making you pay me for stuff. So, you know, Nook's got this really amazingly good operation going on. Um, it's pretty fantastic. So, it's not a stretch to say that Nook is taking advantage of us. But what's interesting is PETA acknowledges this, but they also said, but... You know, Nook is a uh, tanuki, a raccoon dog, a species that has been historically hunted for their pelt, so we should just give this one to them. Or to him. You know, because his species has been so, you know, punished by us. It's like, wait, 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 hold up. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this explosive barrel as a gift to Isabel so she can shoot it with her doom shotgun and blow it up. And I know it's it's fashionable to hate on PETA. I do. I'm aware. And this is less me trying to jump on a... Uh, I moved the um, crafting station over here because I've been doing a lot of crafting of fish bait. Because one of the fish I need is off the pier. And the pier fish don't show up nearly as often as I want them to. 
Um, so in case you uh, happen to be curious why that's over there, I happen to have to make a new crafting station. Uh, but yeah, like I, I understand it's it's fashionable to hate on PETA, you know. Sure. Um, that's not what this is about. This has got nothing to do with you know it being fashionable. It's got everything to do with the fact that some of these concepts are just kind of stupid. Like, PETA's stance on video games and on things that happen in video games remind me a lot of the people who are absolutely convinced that video games cause violence. Regardless of how much, you know, evidence there's to the contrary, regardless of how much, uh, you know, scientific studies have been done talking about it, you know, all of this stuff that says, hey, this thing that you're talking about doesn't exist. Regardless of how much of that happens, uh, there are still people who are absolutely convinced that uh, video games cause violence. Okay, fine. You're, you're never going to convince them. And you know what? We just kind of have to accept the fact that you will never be able to convince some people. But PETA feels like they're, they're you know, barking up the same tree. Because they, because I, I, I feel they think that stuff that happens to animals in video games will make it happen in real life. And let's be honest, there are a bunch of sick, sick people who do terrible things to animals in real life, and that should never happen. And so, in terms of like the general goal of let's make sure that animals are treated well, um, you know, let's make sure that you know their lives are good and not endangered by man. That is a great goal, and that's something that I, you know, wholeheartedly, uh, you know, approve and appreciate and will, you know, will do everything I can to help you. Um, but PETA goes beyond that, and they're freaking insane. Hi, Broccolo. Let's chat. I overslept a little today, but that's cool. It gave the bugs in my house some extra quiet time. What is with you in bugs? Tomorrow's the day the folks from the Happy Home Academy come to visit. The bugs on the floor always get excited when the Happy Home Academy comes by. I wonder what that score I'll get. So, Saturday, or uh, Sunday is good to know. You're really into that simple parka, huh? You wear it every day. I get it, though. The less you think about what you're going to wear, the more you can think about other stuff. I wear it every day. I literally got this this morning. I went, uh... The reason you're seeing so many sticks everywhere is I went and was shaking tree after tree after tree to get that bagworm. Uh, bagworms are gotten by shaking trees. Uh, so I was shaking tree after tree trying to find a bagworm. I eventually found it by looking for a tree that was making noise, but I don't know if that was just a coincidence or if that's actually how it works. If you're supposed to go after, uh, you know, the trees that have that... um. You know, that, that buzzing sound, that cicada sound. I guess it's just... Some, I, I, some people just take stuff way too far. And it makes me, you know, it makes me kind of curious from... You know, the viewing perspective of someone who's just kind of watching from the outside... Um, you know, it, it's very easy to be someone who is just kind of, uh, watching, you know, to criticize what other people do. Uh, it's, it's very easy to do that, so I'm not going to pretend, you know, that I'm an amazing person. Um, but I do have to sit here and wonder, like, do they not, uh, think about what they're doing? You know, do, do they, is there not thought put in? Um, to how crazy they sound sometimes. I see you. Okay, what's our present? A wood burning stove. Eat. I've been uh, watching 
developments on the news. Uh, more more reading developments, because I don't really watch the news as a program. I typically read news stories as I'm waiting for stuff to happen, among other things. Uh, and there's a big push from a lot of companies to reopen right now. The, I mean, the coronavirus has not stopped. It's not gone anywhere. It is still a major issue. Uh, but there are a lot of these companies that they want to open now. Okay, found something that you need. They don't need all of them. Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of companies that want to open now, and I'm just sitting here, you know, it, it's been said in the past that, uh, you know, money is the root of all evil. Left megaloside and mega, mega zero torso. I wonder if those are the same thing. Okay. Need those. Let's go sell some stuff. Um, but I can't help but wonder if if, if that's really true. I and uh, you know I really I think through things. And it's like mon you know I, I had a I've said this before. I had a conversation with my with my grandfather when I was much younger about the need for money because I was fairly convinced and I'm not gonna lie, still still think this in a big way. But I think we could do without money. Okay, so we got a pan flute. Uh. Recipe cart, I already have that. No big deal there. So we we had a, a retro radiator, a pants press, a red brick wall, and a dance team jacket. Well, I can go ahead and put the dance team jacket on. But, you know, we, we had this long conversation about what money is, what it means, you know, what it's good for. Um, as I said, I was much younger. I was pushing for, uh, the, you know, let's just track how many hours you work, or better yet, how about everybody just get what they need? And, uh, he very swiftly convinced me that I was being an idiot. Um, so, you know, great, right? Like, we know money's there and necessary. So the thought experiment I came up with, and if any of you guys are economists... Um, or, uh, you know, in the financial sector, bankers, um, you know, you guys know money. Please weigh in. I'm kind of curious what you feel, or how you feel on this. But after, after running through the thought experiment mentally, especially with some of the things that I'm hearing during some of the conversations that, you know, oh, no, I don't need another hourglass, thank you. What I kind of wonder is, is it, oh, come on, I want to talk to Timmy. I want to, I want to, I want to talk to the child. Let me talk over here. Okay, here we go. I wonder if it's not money that's the root of all evil. It's investment is the root of all evil. Uh, don't need to sell the stones. Because, you know, a lot of things that are being done, they're being done for the sake of profits, right? And why do you need profits? To pay off investors is most of the, is most of the reason we end up seeing, right? Uh, in a big way... You know, really, what's a successful business? Sexual, sexual business is a business that uh, pays all of its bills, pays all of its employees, uh, everybody, you know, pays all of its expenditures and has a dollar left over in the bank. That's success. You don't need extra money as long as everybody is getting paid. But, you know, naturally, these businesses want more than that. And usually it's to maybe expand the business. Okay, great. Let's save up some extra money so you can expand. What's up, Melba? I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Toasty. Oh, okay. What's the latest? You look ready for a workout in your dance team jacket. I should probably be getting more exercise myself. Okay. Let's go talk to Mabel. Good morning. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help? Uh, I want to see what's on sale. Okay, so what do we got? So we got an energetic sweater. An Argyle vest, a sporty skirt, workout pants, bobby socks, a nose drip, a ribbon, an overall dress, and pleather sneakers. Let's go ahead and just buy everything. But in a big way, you know, so what, what a lot of businesses want is they want investment, right? They want people with money to give money to them. To allow them to do more things, to expand the business, to, you know, get another, uh, another location. Um, you know, maybe it's, um, 
you know, to to sell a new or make a new deal, sell a new product. So you have the investors. The investors pay you a little bit of money, giving you extra money in the bank in order to uh, do something else. But the problem is the investor wants to make some money back. You know, they want more than they put in. But what's interesting is that unlike, let's say, a bank, um, you know, a bank, when they give you a loan, there's a very specific rate of return they expect, right? There's the there's the APR. Um same thing applies to a credit card. You know, there's there's a very specific uh, amount of money they expect to get back. But what's interesting is for investments, it's not a specific amount. They want as much back as possible. And the problem is, as soon as you have a ton of people putting money into your business, your goals go from let's make a good business and let's you know pay all of our employees what they're worth and you know let's let's grow the business to let's give money back to the investors. I can't tell you how many times in the jobs I've been in that I heard that we're making a decision not for the betterment of our employees, not for the betterment of our um, our customers, but for the investors. And that just seems so just negative. I, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know. But that seems like a negative choice to me. That, um... You know, you're making choices in order to, uh... Oh, that's... That, yep, th we're gonna be... We're gonna be using that for a while, and man, I'm gonna... You know what? I think we're rolling with this for a while. Um... But that just seems like a negative thing to me. I, you know, it feels like the decisions that you make for your business should be to either grow the business or to uh, reward the people who work to make the business go. And it, it seems more and more that what we're actually seeing here is that we're, we're, oh, our storage is full. Interesting. Um, well, that's fine, because we're gonna, we're gonna go do some stuff. Uh, okay, I definitely need to move this to pockets, so we're gonna sell that. Um, we'll go ahead and sell this. I don't need two axes, I gotta remember that I have those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the roses. Give me a second to do a little bit of, little bit of inventory management here. Uh, I was gonna be pulling out stuff. Oh, hey, I have another fossil. I was gonna be pulling out some of this stuff anyways, um, with the uh, intention to start crafting. So this is just a good excuse to get this stuff out of my inventory or out of this inventory, so I can start working on that. Yeah, I don't know. I it, it just feels like the, the concept of investment and uh, expecting a return, um, the, you know, the biggest possible return, I think, is the is the more the thing. You're not expect, you know, like, you're not expecting a 1%, a 2%, a 5%, 10%. You're expecting a 100% return. Like, you're expecting, you're expecting to double your money or something like that. And it seems kind of odd, at, at least from my perspective as someone who doesn't, you know be in the stock market. But it seems kind of odd that you should expect that. Because you're not really doing any level of work, honestly. You, you did the work to gain the money, yes. But what you're trying to say is you want to gain more money, but you're not actually doing anything. You're just putting your money into the business. I, okay, b b before before someone says it. Yes, you, you're doing research into seeing what businesses are likely to grow in the near future. Yeah, yeah. Research, sure. But... It... How much growth should you expect off of just research? You know? I don't know. As I said, it just seems like kind of a weird thing. And especially in, in today's day and age where I'm hearing, you know... From, from experts, it's we need to close down the economy even more. We need to, you know, we really need to lock things up. People need to not come out. People need to not be engaging. 
And then you hear that, and you hear these other companies going, wait, why can't we send, why aren't we sending people back to work? Why are we not, you know, why aren't we working now? Young people should go to work. It's the old people that need to stay home. It's like, okay, why are we risking people? Perfect timing for an indoor workout. Let's talk. This whole room is built for cru uh, crush uh, crushing, Blech. crushing my abs, baboom. Feel free to steal the layout if you want to get swole. Okay, I will keep this in mind. Uh, do you want this? Okay, let's actually give him something. What do I have? <laughs> let's give him 99,000 bells. No, um, here, have some clay. Some clay. Wow, this is great. It'll be perfect for some heavy curls. Okay. Yeah, I didn't give him something amazing, so it's not going to be anything back. Um, yeah, it just, it just, it just, it just feels very, very weird that this conversation's even happening. And I think what I find to be even more weird is I've been, you know, listening along to some of the, uh, bailout conversation, which, um, you know, believe you me, that's some of the weirdest conversations. Like, it's, it's definitely one thing to go, hey, you know, we have a bunch of people who can't go to work, a bunch of people who have un unemployment, the economy's slowing down, let's jumpstart the economy, let's give people money. Because they're going to reinvest it and money's going to start spreading again. Cool. It's basically a tax rebate. Awesome. Um, okay, so here we are. Ah, oh, nai, hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Did I say tent? Of course, I meant building. We couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're nai, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job, but I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. We know we can, Isabel. And there you have it. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two swishes of Raccoon's Tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now, with that out of the way, I have something I'd like your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. I hope I can count on your continued support of Isle Decany and our new resident services building. Okay, first things first. I'll take clay. I'll take another cardboard box. Okay. Notice from the Nook mileage program. We're sorry the Nook stop was unavailable all day yesterday due to construction on resident services. To make up for that, we're giving any customers who access the Nook stop today 500 miles. Also, regardless of your access history, your daily access bonus will be set at 7 plus day. Okay, I was curious about this. I was going to be really upset if I got set to 1 because I couldn't attend, you know, attend yesterday. Set it seven plus days tomorrow. You'll we'll continue to use this Nook Stop and the Nook Miles program in the future. Okay, let's go look at Nook Miles. Supposedly there's new stuff in here. So there's a bell voucher. Oh, no, I want to know what it is. What is it? A voucher you can sell in the shop for 3,000 bells. Interesting. So 500 miles is equivalent to 3,000 bells. Good to know. Rope fence, rope fence, drinking fountain, manhole cover, stone tablet, designation signpost. Wave breaker, brick well, simple well, stall, stone arch, fountain, outdoor bath, silo, robot hero, construction sign, lifeguard chair, portable toilet, street lamp, utility pole, drink machine. Wow, they're really giving you everything you need to just to make an actual city here. Park clock, phone box, sandbox, cotton candy stall, playground gym, parabolic antenna, soccer goal, solar panel, wind turbine, lighthouse, monster statue, Cool teacup ride. And then we have the Nook Inc. stuff. Okay, well, I saw something up there that I really am interested in, so let's go take a look at this. All the way up here. This. Uh, no, I need to see what it is. I pressed the wrong button. Information on mastering pocket or station for carrying even more. Yes, yes, whatever. Wh whatever, please. Does this mean more inventory space? Okay. I see. This totally makes sense. I've mastered the art of organization. I bet I can carry a lot of stuff now. Oh, hell yes. An entire new row. That's amazing. Okay. Let's also uh, go look at Nook Shopping. So, let's start all the way at the bottom with Rock and KK. I see a lot of slip-on loafers. I think we already have sweatpants, one ball, five ball, doctor's match already have, rain hat, Mrs. Flamingo, a floating biotope planter. Um, I don't think I have the rain hat. 
and I'll take the one ball tea. And that's all I can have, right? Yeah. Okay, let's also go to the ABD and completely pay off the remainder of our current house. Our house is now paid off. Finish paying off my home loan. Hey, I get claps. Okay, let's start by talking to Isabel. I'm more interested in her than I am in, in Nook. Here you are already. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. Don't need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask. Do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Indeed I do. This is so exciting. My first official request. I'm sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Change Alan tune, change Alan flag, discuss a resident. What's this? What seems to be the problem? I have a problem with another resident. I believe communication is key to solving a dispute, but if you already try talking with them, I'll certainly intervene. I have no problem warning folks to use foul language or dress inappropriately. I want this island to be a welcome place for all. Okay, cool. So if one of my residents happens to have it, like a thing they do that I don't want, uh, I can discuss them. Okay. We're going to be, uh, I have to figure out what tune I want, but I already know what we're, our flag's going to be. I just have to, uh, actually do that. So I'll be doing that after the episode today. Okay, Nook, what do you need? Well, hello there, Nye. Congratulations. You are the proud owner of a luxuriously sized pay-in-full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better? I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me. Simply can't help myself. I'm gonna get more money out of you. But do come see me if I picked your interest. Mm-hmm. This is the construction consultation counter. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain the services offered at my counter. In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines, such as ramps and stairs, or even moving existing buildings. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will, of course, incur additional fees. And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can we have service to you? Uh, I need your help. Time to jump into action. By the way, one of my favorite questions is, what should I do? If you really want to dive in and get some work done, that's a good one. I enjoy giving my friends direction. Now, this is the construction consultation counter. How can I help? First of all, let's talk about my home. So you'd like to talk about your home, hmm? Oh, but there's something I should tell you first. Along with layout assistance, I'm also ready to help when residents want to move their homes. That's something we can do even if you're still repaying your loan. If you're interested, tell me. Yes, yes. All right, kept you waiting long enough. How can I help you? I want to expand. For your home, I think adding a new room would be nice. If we add it on the back, it won't change the look of the home, but you'll get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. This will require taking out a loan for 348000 Do you want to proceed? Yes, let's do it. Excellent. Get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you to buy tomorrow morning. So exciting. Oh my god, the monies. Okay, so, uh, let's hold the ceremony. I want to take part in the ceremony, absolutely. Looking at holding a ceremony for the Resident Services building. I, let's do it. I like ceremonies. Look, all of our residents are hopefully going to be here for this one. Ah, which, look at this, we got tons of people. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Isle Deckney's brand new resident services. Yay! Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Isle Deckney is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I must confess, I thought our little resident services building might be a tent forever. But now, here we are with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everybody who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge the strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could grace our island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Isle Deckney. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. Haven't been on the island long, so I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed. But you can bet your bottom bell that I'll help in any, any way I can. If you need anything, come see me. This is why people like Isabel. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Next, we got a few words from someone who made our new resident services building possible. That's right. Let's hear from our resident rep, Nye. Anything to add? Woo. Ah, that's... Okay, that's an emotion. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt, encouraging sentiments there, Nye. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a member photo should get ready to press circle. Well then, with hopes for our continued growth and to celebrate Isle Deckney's beautiful resident services, hooray. Fantastic. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home.
I wasn't that nice. Oh, I'm out here now. Okay. Well, we did that. Let's go figure out what it is that Nook needs, and then we're going to do some crafting. Okay, that's kind of cute. Hi, Nook. You do actually have to work today. Construction consultation counter. Uh, let's talk infrastructure. Hold on. There are a number of things we can discuss, which you have in mind. Uh, a lot of layout changes. Let's chat with the layout of the island. As resident representative, planning the locations of different structures falls to you. Hmm? Also, as such, I'll bet you probably thought, oh, the building would be better elsewhere. Happens to the best of us. So I'm here for you. We can talk about layout changes that take full advantage of our island's terrain. Moving buildings, of course, in elective service. There might be construction costs. Don't let a few bells stop you from shaping your island to its most ideal form. Okay, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that right now. But I do want to look into a bridge. Here's about bridges and inclines, eh? Excellent, because with the renovation of resident services, we have something new for getaway package participants. This new service makes it easy and fun to add major projects such as bridges and inclines to the island. Major projects don't come cheaply, though. Of course not. Oh, no, no. However, everyone who lives on the island can freely contribute toward the construction fees. We can discuss your island hopes and dreams, even if you don't quite have the funds together yet. Be advised, you can only have either a bridge or an incline under construction at any given time, so consider your plans carefully before discussing them with me. Hmm? What would you like to discuss? Uh, let's make a bridge. Would like a new bridge? Bridges are a good way to connect land separated by rivers. Go ahead and pick one from our catalog. Suspension bridge, stone bridge, wooden bridge, brick bridge, iron bridge, red zen, regular zen. Oh my god, this stuff is so expensive. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Okay. So what should I do? There's no you can help out. We've got a fine building for us in services now, and you've no doubt admired the plaza. It's primed, ready for major events, if I have anything to say about it. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Tell me more. Oh ho ho, got your attention, hmm? Our goal is to have an incredibly popular musician, K.K. Slider, come and put on a show here on Isle Dechne. I'm sure you know who K.K. is, yes? Oh, I am his biggest fan, yes. I always knew you had excellent taste, and I... By the way, his song K.K. Lament is my go-to karaoke song. Sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about it. Back to our goal. If we hold a KK concert here, Isle Dechne could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but a KK show would be the culmination of all of our hard work. I'd love your cooperation. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again. Tell, tell me now! <laughs> what should I do? Take it, this means you are ready to hear the details of my plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents, and we'll create an Isle Dechne so loved. Word of how great this island is, we'll reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone? Okay. This is a bit new. And done. I've sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. Okay. Well, we were going to be crafting anyways, so I guess this is not too much to ask. That being said, a campsite. Where would I put a camp... I, I guess part the, partly the question is where... How... What is the size of the campsite, I guess? Just think, this bridge is 100,000 bells. Especially when I'm the one that freaking crafted it. Okay. So, campsite construction kit. Uh, I have everything. Neat. I made a campsite construction kit. Uh, we are all done for now. We'll come back in a minute. Because I'm going to need more ingredients. Where do I want this campsite to be? I'm thinking a decent place to put the campsite is up here on the cliff. It depends he heavily on how big the campsite is, though. I intend to put the ramps in and the inclines in for this. Um, 
So that'll happen eventually, but... Okay, how about back here? Ah! Uh, okay, let's imagine it. I dig it. Okay, I picked a spot for the campsite. Hope lots of folks come by to visit. That's the future campsite. Again, we're going to have ramps in here to allow people to get up and down more easily, so I'm not really concerned about the fact that it's up, you know, it's that high up. I still want, I want to make at least two more bridges, so the cost of those bridges is just kind of, ugh. Especially given how much money we have to pay to, you know, upgrade our house now. But, you know, this is, this is an overtime types of game. Hi, have you found a good location for a campsite? I did, yes. Splendid. I can't wait to see the spot you picked out. Now the location is settled, I can proceed with construction. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite for visitors. How exciting. Well, apparently a lot of stuff's happening tomorrow. So what's next? Okay. Do we must have the campsite up and running by tomorrow, but it might be too much to wish for a visitor on opening day. What we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes, do some weeding, plant some flowers, play some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. Uh, I mean, I've done that. Okay, well, apparently I guess we're just going to be waiting for, for that to be a thing. So, cool. Uh, okay, so let's craft. So, I guess what I need right now is a do-it-yourself workbench. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I was going to have to make this anyways, so now's a good time to make it. Okay. So, I'm definitely going to end up, you know, buying more flowers, and I'm going to have flowers kind of surrounding the main plaza. Um... Might see if I can, like, fence some stuff off. Uh, I'm also going to be cleaning up the outside of my house. Because, let's face it, I like having all of this stuff out here, but this is a dump. Why, why is there no room to put anything here? Oh, because it's big. Okay. So, let's go ahead and craft. Um, okay, so what is craftable? So, we can make a log map to clock. Okay, let's do it. So really, I'm just, just trying to craft some stuff, you know, get some stuff into my house, make sure I have stuff ready for it. So let's sort by alphabetical order obtained series. I've done that, I've done that. I guess we'll craft a camp campfire. What I really just want to do is I want to craft stuff that I haven't made yet. Go ahead and make a corral fence. I don't know when I'm going to use this. I would like you to stay on craftable, please. I've never made a flimsy watering can? Weird. I'm so glad that I had, like, all of this, uh, all these materials available to me. Got a flying frying pan. You can tell how affected I am. I can't talk. Oh, hello. We still have to go ahead and sell the hot item. Uh, what was the hot item again? Let's go double check. I know I have the materials to craft it. It's just a matter of actually doing it. Uh, wooden block bookshelf. Okay, so I need the wooden blocks. Kind of nice that we're kind of getting into into this system, this setup, where we can just kind of do stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some clay, stones, iron nuggets, all the wood I can carry. Um, 
we have the fencing. I might end up just using this. Tree branches. And let's go ahead and put some stuff away. My hope is that we're going to end up seeing um, some wooden. Oh, oh, that makes 10 coral fencing. Oh, that's kind of nice. I really wish there was a good way to uh, mass craft. Hey, what the hell did I say it was? Wooden block bookshelf? Wooden block bookshelf, okay. Okay, so I need to make wooden blocks. And then, as for the wooden block bookshelf... We haven't actually made that before, so... Hey. We can go ahead and sell that. Okay, what else do we need to make? So, back to the top. Let's look at just craftable. Um, so I can make a brick fence. Let's see. I've done all of... What's the difference between... You see how this one has like a light check mark and these have a dark check mark? The dark check... I, I, I would say the dark check marks are the stuff I've crafted more than one of, but that doesn't make much sense given that... Um, I've only made one of these and one pitcher. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure what that means. If you guys know, let me know. Okay, let's see. We did that. Oh my god, that was so much wood. We can make some medium cardboard box. Nope, we can't. Am I not uncraftable? I want to be uncraftable. I really wish it would stop moving uh, my cursor to, like, other things. It's like, I, I'm, I'm looking at craftable. Do not... See, we're still in craftable now. Right, what else can I make? See, and now we're in everything because reasons. Uh, we can make a stone stool. This is mostly just me doing stuff for the sake of completion, to be 100% honest with you. Um, I like the Zen fence. If I'm going to use a fence for, for my house, and I'm probably going to, it's going to be Zen fence. Okay, so I've made everything I am currently able to make. But that's not everything that can be made. And unfortunately, like, you can't sort by crafted. Not 100% sure why you can't. Uh, wooden block chair. I need the wooden block toy for that. Where's my wooden block toy? I also, I really do wish you could mass craft things. Like, I could say, I want, you know, I want to make five of these instead of having to go in five different times like I'm going to have to. Especially for stuff where I have to make, like, a base level item in order to make a higher level item. I don't know how often that's going to be a problem, but, uh... Okay. Let's go ahead and make the wooden block chair. Okay. 
Okay. Well, it's been a pretty productive day, I think. We, we got a lot done today. We went and, you know, did a bunch of stuff. Um... What do I need for the? Can I? I'm gonna make another one of these. We're gonna sell it. I want to go see how much these are. How much these sell for, too. Well, we got a bunch of stuff done. I'm really satisfied with what we did, and now it's just time for me to go make efforts to make a ton of money, but also to kind of gather all of this stuff that uh um that I haven't gotten so far. So I'm gonna be working on that. Um, good news is that'll help me make a lot of money. So we got the wooden block bookshelf. No, that's chair. Bookshelf. Wooden block bookshelf. I'll give twice the usual amount, so 1440. Sure. It's not bad. And that's gonna be the hot item for fortune. So our five times. We only get one of those a day though. Okay. Oop. Growing collection. Okay, so we've grown our catalog. We're now a curious force. We have 500 more uh, Nook Miles. Is there really no... There isn't one of these for doing a five times Nook Miles Plus? That amazes me. Okay, don't scratch yourself in front of me. Rude. Okay. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for, thank you for joining me. As always, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, do, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, what you think about me rambling today. Uh, also let me know things you'd like me to talk about. Uh, that's a great way to help me figure out what to do. Hello. Well, there's the fly I was looking for. Which means I don't have to have this on the ground anymore. Cheers. Broccolo, what the hell are you doing? Nice day for a walk. I just saw Mabel. I wonder what kind of clothes she brought this time. I bought an outfit from her, and Grandma said it made me look dashing. You you do look like you are dashing. Oh, by the way, we can run. I have never been doing this, because I learned long ago in Animal Crossing not to run. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk. Today's Saturday, which means Happy Home Academy. Yes, yes, I'm aware of Happy Home Academy tomorrow. I haven't seen Renee out and about. Let's go see what she's up to. It looks like she's home. Just out of curiosity. We have a few minutes left anyways. But yeah, leave comments for me. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Uh, you know, anything I could be doing better. Game pie for a chat. I'm liking your overall dress. Real sporty. One of these days I should get in on the active wear thing. If you got any tips, I'm all ears. Uh, you, apparently I can give you something. Hmm. Let's give you a wooden block bookshelf. Whoa, cool. Seriously, now you know exactly what to get me. If I move that there and the other thing over there, gonna have to do this right, you know? While we're at it, here's a little something for you. Uh, for me to you, it's some coveralls with arm covers. Oh, neat. Oh, okay. That's not really what I think about when I think coveralls, but I'll take it. But yeah, let me know, um, you know, what you guys, uh, what you guys want to hear me talk about. Um, things I could have talked about, I, I didn't really talk about my, my ride today. I really actually intended to, because today's bike ride was significantly longer than usual. I'm actually kind of sore over it. Um, but, you know, if you want to hear about everyday life, if there's any topics you want me to, you know, wax on about, uh... If you want me to go back and talk about something else, if you have comments, whatever. I do read all the comments, literally all of them. Um, and I appreciate you guys when you do comment, because it's kind of cool to know that you guys are listening, that you have stuff to say. So, uh, do let me know. Let's go ahead and donate a fly. A fly? What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask if I'd like to learn more. No. Understood. Anywho, my sincere thanks for your donation, and though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched things with the best of care here. Oh, also, things Peter says do not do, do not donate to Blathers. Yeah. This is some amber, and they don't have it. 
Uh, I will absolutely donate some amber. Okay. Oh, we're not gonna listen to Amber. I only have a minute left or so. Three, th three seconds left. Okay. Well, we're gonna head out. But thanks for watching, guys. I love you all. And I will see you guys next time.